Hi, and welcome to another episode of Under the Radar. I am Abstract Jazz, and we are here today with Cash Rogers. What's going on, everybody? It's Cash Rogers, CGGT, Baltimore City. What up? So, Cash, tell us about your music. What kind of artist are you? Um, I'm a hip-hop artist. I do a lot of... um, of the southern type beats, but I give it my own twist as far as, you know, lyricism, you know, party, anything. I can even turn it into a real life song, all types of things. Um, it's really like, uh, I would say, if anybody kind of like a fabulous type lane, how he can, he does now flip his words on the down south beats and such, stuff like that. And what is your favorite part about being a rapper? Actually, just like making people feel better, like, if I can write a song and make uplift your day, no matter if it be real life, something to turn up to, stuff like that. Anything that gives people a reason to want to wake up in the morning and to turn on music and get life from it. And how did you get started? Uh, basically, my dad had a lot of rappers around um, where I used to live at on um, Curly Street. Um, he had a built-in studio in the home, so he had about good, I say, ten to twenty rappers in there frequently and I just sort of picked it up over time like they be rapping I go write something down try it out take it to him yeah that's cool you know then I got into it seriously around 16 17 and I really just been at it ever since so. and what has been some of your struggles some of my struggles have been um, within myself you know uh, doubt sometimes uh, it's really not a lot that I can say as far as music that I struggle with. It's more just life, you feel me? Like, music is it's like clockwork to me. I can do it in my sleep. I can do it all the time. So it's a part of me. And what has been some of your greatest accomplishments so far? Um, Some of my greatest accomplishments would have to be, like, performing at certain events. Like, um, we were a part of a Tiana Taylor show, a paparazzi. Um, we had a couple of events in D.C. and... Philly and stuff like that. So I've definitely been a part of good things and that helped jumpstart my career, just trying to get some hometown base and keep moving, you feel me? You can't never give up on your hometown. Right. And what are some of your goals? Some of my goals would have to be um, to bring the city together for its artistry. Like, it seems like nobody wants to be helpful to anybody else. Like, I'm not, I don't want to be the person that people look to like oh he only do songs with such and such he clicked up stuff like that I want to make I want everybody to eat mm-hmm. I, I appreciate the city the talent is putting forth I, we can be one of the next the next big ones if everybody pull together but you know it's everything takes time and it'll get there it'll definitely get there I see it in the city is it's changing slowly but surely so let's talk about your mistake when did your mixtape drop well, I know you got two of them, so we could talk about your most recent one. Um, the most recent one would be the one, one I'm working on now. I have no official date yet. Um, it's titled Stack of Stuff, mm-hmm. featuring a couple artists. Um, Taylor Alexander, Find Your Time from Faded Mob, Faded Coley from Faded Mob, Ron Dreams, people like that and such. Um, my previous project of last year, The Rise of Castro, um, did pretty okay for the base I have. Um, dropped around May. And it's just like a, it was like a project, like basically an introduction, a debut type thing. Like I've done, you know, little things in the past, like made CDs and say, oh, this is my mixtape. But that was like something I really put two years into. I really sat and took the time to plan it out, put the money into it, put the real production behind it, make real flyers, covers, stuff like that. So basically this next project is the stepping stone. It's the next, it's the next platform for it. And... With this, I definitely want people to actually take an account, pass it along, get it out there, because I'm really putting time, pride, love, heart, everything is in it. Like, everything I can think of is in this this mixtape. So, plus I'm paying a lot of money. So, <laughs> it's another thing. You don't want it to go for nothing, but it happens. It's necessary for this business. You have to put in money to make money. So, I'm definitely trying to get this to be... A bigger project than the last. 
So from the last mixtape, what, what was your favorite song from that mixtape? Uh, my favorite song for the mixtape personally would be Slick Flair. But if it was anything based off of what I want people to know me for or what people to attach to, it would be Amen, the song right after number nine. Um, it featured Taylor Alexander. He did sing it and he had a verse as well. It's basically like telling my struggle, what I go through, what I see from the city and what I have to deal with. So with that... I want you to judge me off those type things. What I really put effort and my whole heart into to try to get people to understand where I come from, what I see, what other people see, what people have gone through. So any anytime I say that, I would say just judge me off of my 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 story, not off of what else I do. What are some of your inspirations right now? Uh basically my my people's like they're the only inspiration I can really have. Like, I don't see a nine to five in my future. I can't see a nine to five in my future. I, I want to do it for the ones that are here and gone that I've had connections with for this whole time in my life. So, basically, just for them, my family. It's, it's no, nothing else. I got nothing else to lose. They all I got. Other than your mixtape that's coming up, do you have any other upcoming projects? Um, not really projects. Um, but working on a couple videos at once. Um, looking to do some shows in some different cities and stuff like that. Just getting the summer lined up. And uh, basically just trying to get it. Like Right now it's just all focus on being at a different platform this time next year. I don't want to be stuck here. I don't want to be still, you know, fighting to get my name known. I want to be known by this time next year. So, that's all my focus and projects is just me. Just keep investing in myself and keep it moving. That's good. I wish you luck with that. So, can you tell people where they can find your music? You can find me on Instagram, Roddy Moolah, R-O-D-D-Y-M-U-L-A underscore underscore. Twitter is Cash Rogers underscore. Um... Hot New Hip Hop, Cash Rogers or The Entourage, Dat Piff, my mixtape's on uh, Audio Mac, The Rise of Castro. That's everywhere you can find me. Okay, well, thank you, Cash, for your time. And thank you, viewers, for watching Under the Radar. This is Abstract Jazz. Subscribe to undergroundradar.com to check out new rising artists in your city. No matter how hard it gets, I'm chasing this cash. I'm pressing the gas. I'm getting money, nigga.